you're doing that, stay off the internet. That's a whole nother topic in itself. All right, what's up guys? I'm out here training with Dakota and figured I'd just go ahead and uh, do a real quick educational drop here. Uh, one of the things that we were running into, especially with this barricade uh, with Dakota is, you know, um, because of how wobbly this Paris barricade is right now, uh, we were just having issues with him uh, managing recoil. So um, I gave him a real quick tip that helped with his performance. So I figured I'd run you guys through it with how to explain, explain this. So depending on where you're shooting throughout the country as a competitive shooter, especially out West, you know, you're probably gonna have a prop or run into a prop at some point in your competition career where the, the barricade or the prop is not solid, right? That's where tripod rear comes in. But if you don't have the ability to put tripod rear because you know you wanna one bag it, that's fine. This is the technique that I would use to, to navigate that. So typically when we are, especially the higher we are, obviously we're gonna see the most uh, movement out of that, that, that barricade. So I'm just gonna show you guys here in the trigger cam. So this is a 540 yard target and just the full range of motion of this prop, you can see with it on its balance point, how much that reticle is wanting to move, okay? Now, everyone's first instincts, I shouldn't say everyone, but a lot of shooters that I, I know uh, that I've trained, the very, everyone's first instinct is when they set up is they're gonna wanna load the, the, the prop, all right? And I think this comes from um, front loading the bipods, right? You, you hear it all the time on uh, the forums, on, on the internet. Get as low as you possibly can and load the shit out of your bipods. If you're doing that, stay off the internet. That's a whole nother topic in itself. But um, we want to avoid that, right? Because if we think about it, no matter what, even th even th with this being a configured competition rifle, it's 26 pounds, it's 6547. The rifle is still going to want to come back, right? And I'll, I'll just show you that here with this shot. Whether I hit it or not, I don't care. You guys are just going to be able to see no matter what. Right, the rifle is gonna want, oh, I still hit it. Uh, the rifle is gonna wanna come back, all right? So with that being said, no matter what, any kind of forward pressure, I'm never gonna overcome my forward pressure, the force of recoil. So with that being, what I wanna do is I want to prep or preload the barricade by pulling the barricade back into me. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to, with my support hand, if you can reach this, Again, I've got super long arms, so if you're not able to do this, there's ways around it. But for me, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, hook into the bag, pull the barricade and the bag together, and I'm actually contacting with my support arm there on, the, on that barricade, and I'm pulling back. And you guys can see that reticle on target, and it, that reticle movement is pretty much non-existent, okay? Now, if I were to front load it, right, Depending on how much pressure you're doing, yes, sure, you're, you know, um, you could probably get that slack out. But what we're talking about is, I would say, recoil management differences when you're front loading versus rear loading. So I'm going to show you just a couple of examples of a front load versus a rear load. So let's go ahead and push my body weight into this. And I'm going to go ahead and send a shot. We've got three tenths of wind dialed in just so that you can see the reticle on center. Okay. And you can probably see that, that movement back and forth of the prop, you know, if I put the camera in slow motion, you know, of that, that because my body weight is pushing forward, I'm getting this like slingshot effect. I'm gonna do one more. So I hit it. All right, so it's still getting that forward, up, forward and back. Now I'm gonna pull back, now I'm applying rear pressure. And you don't see any more of that. Not only that, my dwell time, my ability to, to pick up that bullet is so much better. Uh, because I'm recovering faster, because I'm essentially prepping my body and the prop for uh, the effects of recoil. So. Again, something to, to test out when you guys are out there training. If you're trying to one bag it off of a wobbly prop, if you don't want to, you know, again, use a, a tripod rear. So hopefully that helps. Let me know what you think. If you've done this, if you if you found your own truth with this, down in the comments and see you in the next video. And remember, you have control.
Get ready? Yep. On the beat. Four tenths, five sixty. This five tenths, six hundred. Sense of a recoil management difference is because I'm sucking that barricade into me, right, as well as the rifle. This is what now, so this target's at 535 yards or 540. It would help if I had ammo.